And Jerry, before we let you go, it's time for, uh, you know, that time, the tales from the trading desk. And I believe you are uh, an old hand and used to sit on the desk at uh, Lehman and did basically what I did. You were index arb trader, if I remember correct, an ETF trader. I'm sure you have a couple of good tales for us, or at least one. Why don't you share us with uh, share share something with us in terms of uh, your days from uh, Wall Street way back when? Yeah, I have, a, I have a short one, but it's one of these things. It's like it's kind of, it's it's you know every time I tell this joke, people don't really. It's not a joke. Every time I tell the story, people don't really laugh. They're like, ha. Huh. And it's like you know you kind of you kind of had to be there. Uh, I was I was uh, running the ETF desk, and uh, uh, I you know one of the ETFs we traded was XLE. So this this uh, account comes in, and he says, "Where can I sell five hundred thousand XLE?" And I said, seventy two cents." And he said, "Where can I sell two hundred fifty thousand XLE?" And I said, seventy four cents." So he says. Sell 250 XLE at 74. And I said, I buy. So I bought 250 XLE. Two, second, two seconds later, he says, how are you on 250 more XLE? I said, 74. He said, sold. <laughs> so, I, so, I, so, I, so I stand up and I'm furious. I stand up on the trading floor and I'm like, that's like stuffing five pounds of shit in a 10-pound bag. <laughs> I mean the other way around. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's my story. You know what? People people uh, don't appreciate that. I remember one time uh, I was on the desk and someone came and asked me for a bid for a million uh, tips. We ours are were lo much lower price, so that wasn't as big a trade probably as your five hundred uh, XLE. But it's, they asked me for a bid, and tips was our Toronto thirty five product. And he, I bid him, and he plugged me, and I owned the million. And then all of a sudden, over the hoot and holler, because it's coming out of Montreal, I get, oh, Kevin, where you bid for another million? And I was like, are you shitting me? And what I guess non-institutional traders don't understand is that it's, it's, not, it's not good form to, you know, not hit yeah. someone with the not, full you, amount. You got you to you show your whole size. Yeah. That's right. You can't yeah. do that, right? And so, the, like, everyone was like, oh, for me, they were all like, oh, geez, what's going to go on? Kev's going to be so mad. And I said to the, I said to the sales trader, I said, listen, you got to, you got to let, you got to make sure I trade that next million. And I proceeded to sell it hard so that I could buy it into the hole and like yeah. stuff them on the next million is what I did. So but these are kind of the things that on a trading desk and, and I don't even know, do you think these kind of things happen anymore? Does anybody trade that way or are they all just doing no. VWAPs? No, no, it's all, it's all VWAP. It's, it's uh, there's no risk transfer. Uh, you know, like, you know, we used to, you know, I, 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 you know, I don't want to brag, but like some of the biggest trades we did were like three, four, five hundred million, like on a touch, like risk transfer, like in an equity product. I mean, it was massive amounts of risk. You know, I mean, just that does not it does not happen these days. So I know they've ruined the game, Jared. They've ruined the game. <laughs> yeah, we should go. You and I should go back and just uh, start trading ETFs back and forth. Listen, we would just be sitting around waiting for the phone ring would to ring because nobody would be calling us because they'd all be sticking in VWAPs. Yeah. They'd all want to, because they all want to bench against VWAP and they wouldn't, and no trader on a buy side would have the balls to actually take a view midday. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for that story, Jared. And for those who want to hear more for Jared, make sure you check out the end where we're going to go into after hours and I'm sure we'll get more stories of his days at Lehman. Thanks again, Jared. Thanks.